hello everyone welcome to another video and today we will be looking at how you can create and build a ROS package so let's get started so here we are at the ROS wiki page um the recommended method of creating a ROS package is by using the catkin workspace but a ROS package can also be created standalone. And what makes up a catkin a pack, a package? For a package to be considered a catkin package, it must have a um, package.xml file, must have a CMake list file, and it must have its own folder, which means multiple packages cannot share a directory. A catkin package must have its own unique directory so let's create a catkin package and if you remember in the previous video you are able to create a catkin workspace which we will be using to create a package now first things first you have to change the directory to the source space of the catkin workspace so let's go ahead and do that okay the next thing we are going to do is to use the um catkin create package script to create a new package so um cut in it and we are going to name it beginner's tutorial uh, tutorial and let's specify our dependencies um standard message was python and was c plus plus all right we've created our catkin package with the specified dependencies so let's take a look at the package we created so ls okay let's change directory to beginner okay you can see we have two files and we have two folder so the next thing we are going to do is to build our catkin package and if you remember from the previous video we talked about catkin make which we are going to use to build our catkin package so let's go ahead and go back to our catkin workspace directory where we run the catkin make yeah so our package has been built the next thing we are going to do is to source the generated setup file to add our workspace to the OS environment so I just copy the code here. So let's find it. And we've been able to source generated setup file. So uh earlier while we were creating the packaging package, we specified some dependencies and we can review them with the ROS pack view. So let's go ahead and do that. As you can see, the host pack returned the same uh, dependencies we specified earlier. Also, in many cases, a dependency can have its own dependencies, uh, which are uh, the in, uh, in, indirect dependencies. Let's uh, look at OSPI as an example. So, 
this one to come out. Plus that. As you can see, these are the indirect dependencies of robust path. We can also determine all nested dependencies in our package. So let's go ahead and do that. And these are all the nested dependencies in our package. So we have been able to create a Rust package and we've been able to build it. In the next video, we'll be talking about Rust nodes and Rust topic. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.